Don't eat the fish. The DNR taking action along the Huron River as anglers get ready for the summer fishing season. You know, any summer day, you'll see at least one, if not dozens of people fishing right there along the Huron River. Sometimes a ton. The DNR says you can fish all you want, but you can't eat what you catch. Rod Maloney shows us what's being done to get that message out and why it's so necessary. All across the state of Michigan, the outdoors business is a billion dollar industry. It's just at the edge of the walleye season, so we'll have the anglers out very soon. But this year, they're seeing a new sign that is highly unwelcome. They're not going to be able to eat the fish they catch. The warnings first went out last August and then extended to more waterways last fall. But with the anglers getting back on the water this spring, they're starting to see more of these popping up. And for anglers like Marlon Gleaton of Ecorse, simple catch and release has changed his favorite sport. We used to fish Belleville, uh, but we, we don't fish it now because of that. The warning it had to do not eat the fish, you know, so yeah. why fish an area where you can't consume the fish? That's how we look at it. The state's concerned about PFAS, a class of chemicals used in waterproofing and firefighting now found in rivers and streams statewide and are dangerous to your health. The concentrations of a subgroup called PFOS on the Huron River watershed from Oakland County to Lake Erie are dangerously high, and that's led to the largest fish eating moratorium area in recent memory. Yet some diehards like Joe Dubois of Lincoln Park aren't paying any attention. Maybe people getting sick from eating the fish or something down there. Uh, then you'll probably, you know, a lot of guys probably won't fish down there no more, won't eat the fish. But, you know, until then, um, I would say that the, the, the fishing down there is good. You could still eat it. Farther south in Rockwood at Labo Park, Kayla McCluskey isn't taking any chances. I abide by it. I ain't trusting it. I know people that have been eating fish out of here and they're perfectly fine. Now you're probably wondering about the health risks and it turns out they're long term and it has largely to do with the, the PFOs going into the fish. But the, high, the long term health risks are particularly for pregnant women. They're seeing lower pregnancy rates, high blood pressure, thyroid disease and cancer, which is what has really got them quite excited and quite concerned. Back to you. Yeah, and those are all long term, obviously, right? So is the DNR the only agency working on this then? Well, uh, Department of Health and Human Services actually wrote the order. It's DNR that's putting out the signs, also local communities. We had a chance to talk to Senator Gary Peters today, and he says in Washington it's his number one priority right now. All right. Rod, thanks.